So what is up everyone? How's it going? Captain Giorgio here. And today I wanted to talk to you about uh, this particular case. It's called the Otterbox Symmetry Series 360 Folio Case for the iPad Air. Now, this was a case that really grabbed my attention when I was first purchasing my iPad Air. As some of you may know, um, I recently purchased an, an iPad Air and I'm truly in love with it right now. So if you want to check out that video, I'll have it linked below. But anyways, this case caught my attention for a couple of reasons. The reason I got it was because I was looking for something simplistic and, you know, I wasn't really sure about whether if I wanted a keyboard on my iPad or not. However, I didn't know what kind of workflow I was going to be adapting with my new iPad. So I took the risk and decided to go for something that has no keyboard. You know, I wanted, I would have liked to have a keyboard with like backlit light, but then I was looking at other options and there wasn't many. The only option that kept popping up that had everything I wanted was the Magic Keyboard. You know, due because of the price tag, of course, I decided not to get it. And something about it too is that, you know, I was getting a green iPad. So seeing that transparency of the backside of the cover was going to be something that was going to be really cool for me so that it can, again, again remind me that I have a green iPad, which is, gonna be, which is pretty cool. Just a simple case where it shows the color of my iPad and you know it looks slim enough and i guess has good design so that it doesn't appear too loud in any sense so this case in particular the otter box symmetry has two options there's a gray option and there's a purple option but of course i ended up getting myself the gray version simply because you know it's gray is a neutral color and i felt like it was gonna balance out good with my green and you know fortunately that's what ended up happening when i first got it um shipped to my house i thought it was a pretty good quality for what it was and you know it does ha does feel like it's gonna be durable for a while at least i hope so and of course you know you are paying for a brand and right now as i'm using it every single day you know i use it as a stand when i draw i use it as a stand when i watch movies so first of all i don't think this kind of case is meant for someone who drops their ipad a lot i'm treating this as a, as a laptop replacement so i wouldn't want to drop a laptop anyways so i don't want to take my chances and risk a job dropping an ipad it's very simplistic and it's not too loud either that it actually passes as a notebook even something that i was very happy to know as well it has like an opening on the left side so then that way you can scan your finger id so i think that's very useful as well as it has you know your typical openings for use of charge it has openings for the speaker when you apply your apple pencil on top it has just enough space so that you can cover it up and close it so i thought that was a pretty good detail but yeah no i think that this cover if you again if you're looking for something simple this is the case to go with however after you know dealing with it for a while and after thinking about what i just purchased this is still a 70 dollar case for an ipad so that's one thing that uh, i always wondered about you know is it worth the price for the quality that you're getting i believed i checked out otter's official website and they were selling it for i think 80 so thanks apple for that 10 dollars discount i guess there are some things i've noticed about this case that i just feel like if you're if you're not a fan of fingerprints on the back there is going to be a lot of fingerprints here simply because it's plastic and it's transparent as well as i've noticed that i guess I don't know if my nails were long or something, but I think I've been closing and opening it so many times now that I'm starting to notice that there's some dents made by my fingers. So if you're not a fan of that, then, then I would recommend you look for something else. Is it worth the $70 though? And this is why I wanted to make this video so that you can be informed before making a purchase like this. Because after all, yes, the iPad is a good investment, but you know, a $70 case, are there better options? Um, I think there are better options out there, but I think for the quality that you're getting, again, you know, the material, the, the usability and the brand, I think that is kind of worth it. Then again, I feel like there are better cases out there. Something that's more solid in protecting your iPad from a drop, let's say. I think there are better options out there, especially for $70. Just because it has the brand, of course, it's going to be an increase in price. So if you're able to find something that's a little cheaper and can offer something more protective and if hey if it has even a better design than this one then i will totally go for it but yeah you know this was a video that i wanted to make just to talk about my feelings on the case and whether if it was worth it um and of course just to help you have like an input on how this case looks like 
and for you to see if this um case is something that you would want to you would want to purchase yourself but yeah you know that's all i had uh in terms of my thoughts today let me know what you think if you have this case and let me know if you've been liking it so far i've been liking it so far um and you know what just by looking at these photographs on the website i just realized that you can actually put it in this position as well what other case would you have gotten if you had a 70 dollar budget let me know down in the comments be very interested um in this channel i like to talk about photography and art and i like to talk about composition so if you're into that stuff please consider subscribing all right though so that's it for me today i hope you have a good one hope you continue to stay safe especially around these crazy times and i hope you continue to be creative all right i'll catch you in the next one see you